y'all welcome back to my channel it's andrea b and if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe so i know it's been a minute since i made another youtube video so i was like i can't have people waiting too long um but i want to say thank you thank you so much to everybody who liked who subscribed and who shared my first video it was amazing um so this video is going to be the what i like to call a motivational talk um i've just been feeling really motivated lately and about different topics and i said i'm just gonna make a video about it and share it so today we're gonna be talking about realizing your self-worth right who that's deep not really um but i would just say the reason for this video is that it's just been something that's been weighing heavy on my heart and in my spirit and i just want to share it so preface um i'm just going to talk about my journey to self-worth and knowing who i am and what i was called to be um so as you guys know that i am a mom um my son is two years old now um and i was in a relationship with his dad for over two years um and you know some things had transpired and you know things happen and we're no longer together um but in that moment it just was like oh no right you're so involved and you're so in love with the person that you truly and really forget who you are as a person right you start to forget everything that you wanted to accomplish what you wanted to do because now all your dreams and your goals and aspirations are now y'all's goals dreams and aspirations and um it gets tough because when you've pictured a life with someone you've pictured you know how things were going to look in like five ten years or just whatever the next phase of your life is going to be and it changes right it changes to the fact that it's like you're so used to a person and now it's just back to square one which is me myself and i um but in my case i you know found out that i was pregnant and i just was like oh my god like how am i gonna do it right but within those two years, I I lost myself completely. I felt like I literally lost who I was becoming, right? You know, like I just felt like I had so much going for myself. I was very involved in school, very involved in my community, and then I fell in love, right? And so everything that I was used to doing, it just stopped. It just was like, that's it, it's over, it's done. Um, because I was in love and so fast forward um like I started to let myself go like I wasn't doing my hair like I was gaining weight I was looking stressed and I kept trying to figure out why am I so like out of it right I felt like I was put in isolation from people and I just was like oh my god like what is going on um and you know it's crazy how they say like you know God sends you signs you know warning right comes before destruction and i ignored those warnings and i ignored those warnings to the fact to where i was willing to do you know anything and everything to make it work and in that i had lost my self-worth because i'm just like girl what are you doing if a person isn't going to show you that they're for you or if they're not even gonna do the things that you have done for them 10 times over it's time to let them go and i really had to come to terms with that i was elevating i was moving to another level and i had to let go of the one person that just did not serve me any purpose right and you know as women it really takes something drastic for us for something to happen for us to really be like okay like for real i'm not i'm not doing it right but you still gonna be hard-headed and do it time and time again until something really clicks in your mind and it's like all right for real chill out like for real chill out and that's what it was for me um when i just found out that i was pregnant i just was like well you know it's not really my life that's at stake anymore it's the human being that's growing inside of me right and so when i realized that a lot of things in my mind 
started to change, right? I started to go back to the things that made me happy, which was going to church, being involved in the word, being around my family, and especially like my mom and my sisters, um, like my immediate family. I started, you know, just engulfing myself in things that would make me happy right and in those times like you know i'm praying i'm asking god like what am i supposed to do like what am i supposed to do like i'm heartbroken you know crying everywhere like what am i supposed to be doing and i just remember just hearing like you know restoration restoring you let me help you and the more that i tended to give everything to god it just was like all right like you know like wait like everything that would have came and stressed me out i'm like nah god got it and that weight lifted off of my shoulder and slowly but surely everything that i was feeling in that time had really just lifted up off of my shoulder and it was crazy because i'm just like why everything feels so light now you know why did everything that you put me through felt so light like even though it hurt <laughs> even though it hurt it but it felt light it felt like i was beginning to build back up that strength again right like i was beginning to be like all right god like i can handle this i can do this right a hundred percent and throughout my pregnancy yes were there times that i was weak of course but it was one of those things where it was just like, but you're not gonna continue to, not gonna continue to play me in my face, right? And the more that I stood up for myself during my pregnancy is the more that I felt bold. I felt confident and I really started to feel like me again right and i know that there are people that go through that day in and day out and especially when you're like leaving a relationship that meant a lot to you um you have to look at it as it's a lesson god wanted me to learn something from that right and i would say truthfully that that relationship taught me what i will and will not tolerate right because me personally i am a very reciprocal person whatever you give to me i'm gonna give back to you right you give you know you get what you give you give what you get i'm sorry and so when it comes to self-worthiness you have to start setting that boundary right you have to start setting those boundaries with people so they know like yeah she holds herself to a higher standard i do right I do. And especially for, you know, my women who are moms or even just individuals, there are certain things that you will and will not tolerate. And especially when it comes to, for example, bringing a significant other around your child, like you got to make sure that the vibes are right, right? You got to make sure that everything is working and is good between you two before you bring them. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Andrea B, back with another video. No. Sorry, I had to pause the video because my sisters came barging in. Um, but, oh my God, I forgot where I left off at. But yeah, you just really have to. Okay, and we're back again because we got interrupted again. Um, but back to what I was saying, it's just that you have to hold yourself to those standards that you hold other people that you would like to hold other people to right um and i just feel like self-worth starts with accountability right you have to take accountability for everything that you've allowed to happen this far you have to take accountability for how you've allowed people to treat you this far right so like i said self-worth is all about setting those boundaries but if you're not gonna hold yourself accountable for everything that has happened thus far like self-worth is is, is is nothing like it means nothing because you have to do the work before you can expect other people to do the work right and accountability comes in all forms right accountability comes in relationships it comes in friendships it comes in co-worker relationships it even comes with your relationship with your nail tech or your hairstylist and you have to be mindful of that you have to be mindful that your self-worth is everything right and also self-worth 
has a lot to do with where you are me personally um spiritually right so as i stated earlier in the video when i was going through that trial um i really had to embed myself in the word i really had to embed myself around spiritual people that were willing and able to push me to where um where i wanted to be and where god felt like i needed to be and i ain't gonna tell them sorry y'all like heartbreak is like is real but i feel like it teaches you lessons like i said it teaches you to really figure out right and then at that time i was like what i found out i was pregnant i was like 22 23 so like i mean i'm still a baby now but like i was young i like just graduated from college and i was still trying to figure myself out and then boom there goes a the baby right but i wouldn't trade this experience for nothing in the world because my son i would definitely say shows me what unconditional love looks like and i feel like any parent and moms specifically can say that your child really shows you what unconditional love looks like and i feel like self-worth is is not being hard on yourself but willing to sympathize with your feelings and willing to sympathize with everything that's going on around you right because you have to be aware you know self-worth is one of those things that it takes time to build and it's like once you build it you don't want no one to try to break that down like no 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 like i've built myself up to a 10 and you're trying to bring me back down to a two no sir it's 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 not happening that way it's not it's not happening that way but you have to be strong and bold enough to make that mark and make that step because your self-worth is everything and your self-worth literally carries into everything that you do right it carries into your instagram photos it carries into your facebook posts it carries into your business it carries into your job it carries into your physical fitness it carries into your mental health because what you think about yourself is how things start to play out right how you speak about something is how things start to manifest itself right and you should be thinking boldly you should be thinking positively about yourself and most of all confident you have to be so confident in yourself that you know that regardless if you fail or you succeed it's all because you took the time to put in the work and you believed in yourself you gotta believe in yourself y'all and i feel like self-worth just attests to literally how much you believe in yourself I'm telling you is is how much you believe in yourself and i would say self-worth for me is just realizing that I'm the sugar honey iced tea. Like, self-worth for me is realizing that I can do anything and everything that I put my mind to, right? Self-worth for me is realizing that I'm not bringing nobody in this house that's not a perfect fit for me or my son, right? And I feel like one of my biggest, my biggest prayers that I've always asked for is that when that person does come into my life, that he is going to love my son just as much okay and i feel like that's every i don't like to using the word single parent but that's every parents who isn't dating someone's <laughs> dream right but i just want to encourage you and challenge you to really go after your self-worth and i know that there are going to be times where it's tough and you feel like you can't do it or you can't leave that situation or you can't quit that job but if it's toxic and it's not serving you any purpose let it go that's my advice that's my encouragement let it go be done because your self-worth is more important than honestly than what anyone thinks of you the only thoughts that should really be in your mind is what you think of yourself and what god thinks of you period <laughs> don't let anyone try to discredit your feelings Ever. Don't ever let someone think that you're the problem. You should never be the problem if you're expressing your feelings and expressing your boundaries and what you see for yourself and what you want for yourself. Just saying. Just saying. And my challenge, and I'm challenging you, is that in 22 and beyond, challenge yourself right set your boundaries continue to explore 
everything that makes you happy continue to start building up that self-esteem right start building up that confidence start building up that love that you had five years ago whether it was a craft whether it was you know a business or a hobby start exploring those things right start exploring the things that put you on the path of purpose and if you listen to my podcast the you're not done yet podcast i talk all about purpose all day every day just putting that plug in there but seriously take the time to figure it out right there is no wrong or no right answer take the time to figure it out take the time to really figure out as a person what do i want what makes me happy what puts my self-worth on a level of a thousand that no one can take from me and that no one can steal from me and definitely no one can break from me either and it's okay because you're gonna go through a moment of brokenness right you're gonna go through a moment where you're stressed out and you want to break down but don't allow those feelings that you feel write it down make it plain and allow yourself to learn those feelings so that when they arise again you know exactly what to do you know exactly how to write things out, how to de-stress yourself from the situation, right? Your self-worth is everything, everything. And I encourage you to go after it time and time and time again. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my little motivational self-talk all about self-worth. Hope that you guys got something out of it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And invite some of your friends to my channel, too. It's about to get real <laughs> litty around here. <laughs> but until next time, this has been an amazing video on self-worth. And I will catch you soon. I ain't going to put no date on it because I'm trying to work on being consistent with this. But it's coming okay <laughs> but until next time peace